Hello people of the internet, it's Amanda and for today's video, I'm here to talk about a drama that ended six years ago but I never really expected that there's a lot of like interest or curiosity surrounding it but then when I tweeted about this the other day and I also posted this on my Facebook page, I noticed that either a lot of people want to revisit this, are curious by this or just got their interest piqued by this mainly because it's a combination of members from various Johnny's idol groups in one particular drama performing in one particular group and most of them were either in, pre in their pre-debut days here or they just debuted so that's really saying something I mean it's it's probably one of my favorite Japanese entertainment collaborations or crossovers <laughs> ever I'm talking about shark 2014 now the thing with this is that for some reason i couldn't trace the soundtrack of this everywhere i absolutely love the music in this one like i personally love just music themed J-dramas in general, but for this one, I feel like this soundtrack is really good. But it's just a shame because and I saw that a lot of people who were sharing my tweet were also sharing the same sentiments about this. Uh, and it's such a good, like the soundtrack is just really good and it's such a shame that it's nowhere to be found. But I did try to put out a solution out there. I'll be talking about that later into the video. But anyways, what I want to do is just talk about what I like about the drama and some of my you know, observations or comments about how I would have wanted it to go. And then at the same time, I would be ranking my top five favorite songs and performances from this drama and yeah obviously there are gonna be spoilers and there is gonna be a lot of fangirling that's going to happen here because one of the main members of shark or members of just the drama in general is it on the show and we all know how i feel about him and king and prince at the moment so let's just do this <laughs> So let's zoom in on the cast first. So obviously there's Sho from King and Prince, there's Hokuto from Stones, there's Iwamoto Hikaru from Snowman, Kamiyama Tomohiro from Johnny's West. Ryusei was also there from Johnny's West but also just briefly because of his role which I'm going to be talking about later. And then there's also Hamada Takahiro from Johnny's West as well. Um, now for Ryusei, he's more of like just a cameo because he played the vocalist of Shark that passed away and that's why why they couldn't debut and he his character was replaced by um hirano shows Kurata Mizuki and that's where the whole like dynamic of the drama starts off now this also stars Yamashita um, Ryo as their manager Ichika who was really trying so hard to m make Shark's debut happen um yeah I think that's basically that for the entire premise of this entire thing it's just that the main issue initially is that Mizuki is just full of himself and he he's this person who just um, has a lot of like he feels that he's a genius so everyone should just follow his lead and everything like that but through this entire narrative so Shark learns to love him and he learns to love Shark and that's basically that and it's their journey into wanting to debut which i feel like feels very close to home for these boys at the time since they're still pre-debut or i think johnny's west just debut around 2014 so it's definitely like um even if like the genre of shark itself is obviously very different from how actual johnny's idols groups are at least for the most part um the essence of it is something that feels very close to home to them and i feel like that's why this one is well acted as well is because you know they can relate to it too much now before i dive into ranking the my favorite performances from this particular drama i just have to say that one i feel so old i mean i'm the same age as them but when i started getting into j entertainment back in early 2000s obviously um stones and um i think around the time like even johnny's west Kiss My, they were all just um, 
juniors backing backing their seniors who I watch. And so like Kiss My for example, who are not in this drama by the way, but I just want to mention them. I remember them being um, backing up Captain for Queen of Pirates. Um, and I love Captain so much. I love that concert so much. So it's kind of like cool to know that now they're the senpais but heisei jump is the same like i remember back when they were just appearing in their sem in their senpais um dramas uh and i don't know and i remember vividly as well when six stones when when stones was still called six stones so it was just kind of surprising like when after my hiatus with this entire fandom like when i came back they're suddenly stones like what's happening yeah but anyway, <laughs> going back to what this video is supposed to be about. So I'm going to be ranking my favorite performances from this particular drama. So number five on my list is Reflection. Now Reflection is really more of like Kazuki's song, if you get what I mean. So whenever Shark performs it with um, Mizuki as the lead, so I, I definitely feel like um, it has a different vibe to it. Like Reflection is a good song, but at the same time, like the shark that is focused, um, that is the focus of the story, it, it, um, like it, it just doesn't have the same impact as the other songs in, in their entire set list. So I don't know, like Reflection, again, number five, um, love the song, but the impact just not the same. So there's that. For my number four, Four, I would have to give it to Mizuki's performance of Kagayaki in the wedding in which he crashed. That's why he was discovered by Ichika to join Shark. Um, why I love this mainly because Hirano Sho sang a cappella for like the first couple of lines for this one. And I was just, I remember this was the exact moment where I fell in love with his voice. Like his speaking voice is already kind of unique in a way as compared to other Japanese actors because of his natural like huskiness. But in this particular moment, and I feel like I watched this in between a couple of episodes of Hana no Chihara, so I still wasn't into like King and Prince yet. Um, but when I heard him sing a cappella, I was just floored. Like I. I fell in love with this song, right? I, I, with this voice, with this so with the song, right at that particular moment, and that thing with Hamada doing the guitar riffs. I mean, it was just beautiful to watch. So that's my number four. Um, it would have gone higher up my list. It's just that <laughs> there are going to be biases coming out later into this video, so watch out for that. Now, given that, I'm going to move on to my top three. So for my top three, I would have to give it to answer. Um, the final cup performance uh, mainly because again this is more of Kazuki's song but the, he wasn't able he wasn't able to like perform it for Ichika who he wrote the song for um, because of his accident and that's why there's a different impact towards it when Mizuki was the one singing it however I I feel like the thing why this isn't um, higher on my list is because I, I like this song so much. I like their lyrics so much. It's just that, again, since I couldn't find any trace of the soundtrack, like the official soundtrack of this particular drama, it's just impossible to listen to it fully or just absorb it in its full glory because of how they use this song for a very pivotal moment of the drama, which is Mizuki's voice is already giving out, so he has to get an operation to to recover um that's like the main issue there is for this entire drama by the way but um and in the middle of him singing the song so his voice gives out and it's very touching because um because when he get when his voice gives out the audience starts singing and finishing the song for them and in that moment like in the final piano note hirana shostir also falls down beautifully as if on cue and hmm, I mean I love it but again given the lack of OSD I just couldn't appreciate it in full glory so mainly that's just one of the reasons why it's just in number three moving on to my number two so again this is where the biases come in smile <laughs> this isn't exactly the strongest song mainly because like out of all the very exciting like rock 
songs in the soundtrack of this entire drama, Smile is really more of a love song. But <laughs> my bias for Hirano Sho and Hokuto is probably trumps all of that. So I'm, I'm putting it in my number two list. Um, and the thing is, I, I didn't expect for their voices to complement really well when I first watched this. Um, but surprisingly, like it's just a very sweet song and a nice cl palate cleanser as compared to like the others. So, um, and, I, and I, I think it also adds to the fact that I love um, this, like the storyline between the two of them, like how the relationship developed um, for the drama and which led to the creation of the song. So I think that's why it made it into my second favorite. Now moving on to number one, which I feel like is inarguable at this point, considering that this is the drama's opening theme. Um, they've sang it like, I don't know how many times for this particular drama, Keep Walking. Now Keep Walking, besides the obvious like main song factor that it has for this drama, they also performed this in Shonen Club back then and it just showed just how much these talents complement one another in terms of performing. But at, apart from all of that, the lyrics of this one is also pretty good. Like it's a reflection of definitely like their journey as a group wanting to debut. And at the same time, it's also relatable for people who's just struggling in general and a reminder of how empowering it is to just keep moving forward. And I think that's why this song really tops my list. And again, I mean, we can shuffle this list all we want, but Keep Walking would definitely still be number one. So yeah. <laughs> With that said, so I mentioned earlier on into the video that I did a little project regarding this one because I couldn't find the soundtrack. So I will be putting a link down in the description below. I did, um, I ripped out some of the audio and tweaked it a bit so that the dialogue overlap, especially for the final performance, would be cut out. I guess it's time to wrap up this video. So tell me down in comments below, have you seen this drama? What do you think of it? Did your curiosity get peaked because of what I just talked about? Are there any of these groups or any Johnny's Idols groups that you're currently standing? Let's talk it out down in the comments below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel and you would want to hear more from me, please hit subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be seeing you again soon in a new video.